Hi there, I'm Allie Peterson with USGBC and I'm here with Josh Hickman from Arcadis. Thanks for being with me today, Josh. Hi, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. We're here at GreenBuild 2016 in Los Angeles and we're talking about what's going on with Arcadis and sustainability. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your background and what Arcadis is doing in sustainability? Sure, yeah. Well, I've been uh, dedicated to sustainability for 10 years and uh, really my focus has been on the technical aspects of energy efficiency, sustainability, and uh, really finding that niche between design, construction, and, and function of buildings, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems. So at Arcadis, uh, sustainability is one of our core uh, values that, that we really strive for within the company. And we're, we're constantly promoting uh, various organizations, such as USGBC, uh, to all of our various clients. And we work with our clients to deliver lead buildings and, and other uh, environmental consulting. So Josh, tell me, I know Arcadis just issued the 2016 Sustainable Cities Index Report. Can you tell me a little bit about the background and purpose of this report? Yeah, I'm actually very excited about it as well. It's something that uh, internally we put a big uh, emphasis on and it, it's fun to see the results that uh, the various uh, global uh, colleagues uh, come up with. So uh, it is uh, actually our second report and this year's uh, report is based on 30 different economic uh, indicators related to the people, profit and planet mm -hmm. uh, related uh, items. And there's a, a total of 100 different cities throughout the globe. And of those 100 cities, 22 of those are in North America. Oh, that's great. That's really good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Yesterday, Scott Horst announced that we will be pursuing lead for cities in the future. So information like this coming to the fore is really, really valuable to all of us involved in green building. But what did the report reveal? Can you tell us a little bit about the findings? Uh, it did reveal that Zurich, Switzerland is number one and uh, it, which, is, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the European cities are ranked in general higher than the, the US cities for uh, reasons related to transportation and things of, things of that nature. Uh, but really the report is, is looking to balance, uh, as I mentioned before, that, that people, the planet, and, and then of course the profit. So taking into account all of those various attributes, uh, Zurich is the is the number one. That's really good to know. I guess I need to visit Zurich sometime soon. Yeah, you and yeah. me both. Yeah, absolutely. So Josh, uh, one more question for you. Can you tell us about what you feel is important for people to know as they enter the sustainability field, some career advice for new or emerging professionals? Sure, yeah. we. I, I would recommend that um, that, that students that are in college or taking courses now, mm -hmm. that, that they really get involved in the sustainability earlier on. Uh, you know, when we were in college, they were more on the periphery as far as uh, the different courses. But now we just brought on, on an intern for one of the projects who's now a, a full-time hire. She had the, uh, the ability to go and take the lead GA as part of her college courses, which helped her out, and, and I believe she got credit for it. Uh, if, if folks have the ability to be able to do something like that, I strongly encourage it and recommend it. Uh, I think it gives you a good foothold in, into, the, um, into the working world. I agree. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Josh. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Have a great Greenbelt. Yeah.